so I tried flashing the latest Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and here is the problem I faced. I would say yes you will face this problem too if you are decrypted on your Redmi Note 7 Pro and you have the latest Orange Fox recovery installed and if you try to like go into your download folder and just flash the latest firmware which is the 9.12.12 as of right now I guess. So I just flashed this 9.12.12 firmware with the Evolution X which is the 10th March 2020 build and right now yes i have already flashed it i'm not gonna show it in this video because i already did like two minutes ago off camera so now let me just reboot and show you guys what's happening if i reboot to system just notice this what happens and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been facing this problem too as you can see it shows the redmi logo and it boots back to the recovery well to fix this problem i would say you have to format the data and yes i know we have to format the data again for this and yeah you have to format the data and you cannot flash the fcube disabler from now on because this rom is based on some like new things so that's why it like cannot be flashed with the fcube disabler anymore so we are totally going with the encrypted way if you are flashing the like latest evolution x rom so be aware of that and if you want to talk about like from fresh if you were decrypted and on a ROM like Durfest I was on, so I wiped cache Calvic system data and flashed the latest build of the Evolution X ROM. That did not just work, it's just booting back to the recovery now. So what I'll do is I'll just go to menu. For this Orange Fox recovery, we have to go to manage partition to format data. But on if you are on the like normal TWRP recovery, you can go to wipe and then from there format data. Now from this manage partition section, select data. Now tap right. Now from here, click on format data and make sure you have backed up everything because this will erase everything from your device. Now type yes. Now just for clarification guys, I won't reboot system. So here as you can see, I'm on the Orange Fox version R10.1. So this is the Orange Fox recovery version. If you want like the same version which I'm using, this is the version I'm using over here. So right now I'll just like reboot to system. So yeah, as you can see, it shows me the boot animation. So I'm pretty sure and hopeful that this will reboot like to the system and the ROM should work fine, which I will show you guys later on. So yeah, that's how you boot on the latest Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And here, as you can see, we have finally booted into the system and I just need to set up the ROM. So I'll just do that. Right now, as you can see, we are booted into the like Evolution X UI and everything is working fine. And if you notice the stock camera and stuff, this is the Google camera seven, I think by default over here, which is present and the camera and stuff works fine. Even the front camera, if you notice is working fine, that's not a problem here. But what's the problem is I'll show you later on. But right now, let me show you the about phone section right here in the Android version. This is how it looks like Evolution X logo up top is there. Then there is the device name, of course, that'd be Note 7 Pro. And this is the March Madness build 4.1.69. And the security patch is of latest March 5th, 2020. And if you scroll down, here is the build date 10th March 2020 build. Let me go back and from here, if you notice the system updater over here, this is how it looks like. It looks pretty cool while checking for updates and stuff. So yeah, those things are fine. But the biggest problem which I will say right now is happening to me, the recovery has been replaced with the AOSP recovery. So right now let me just quickly boot into the recovery and show you what's the problem here. So as you can see, this is how the recovery looks like if you look from up close. There are the options like reboot to system now and reboot to bootloader, then reboot to recovery, apply update from ADB, then update from SD card the like old school recovery which was always there with the like AOSP recoveries this is the thing right now so yes it actually replaced my orange fox recovery and which is pretty annoying but right now i'm gonna try to flash the latest orange fox recovery again on like top of this and i have to use magis if i want to keep the recovery i think so so right now i'll just like reboot to bootloader or fast boot and like try to flash the latest orange fox recovery so for that, I'll do everything from fresh so you guys can see from here. So on the right side over here, if you notice on this new folder, I have downloaded this Orange Fox recovery, the latest one, R10.1 stable build for the like Redmi Note 7 Pro or Violet. This is the recovery file, of course. 
and then I have here the Magisk latest like beta 20.3 and I will like flash the recovery first so for this you have to extract this like recovery like you can extract it right here and this will be a folder like this and here you will get this recovery so once you have this recovery just copy and paste this recovery over here on the platform tools folder once you have like extracted this on this platform tools folder it will be like this over here and right now i will have to flash this image recovery file first so i'll just sh hold shift on the keyboard and right click and here i'll like open this powershell window here and now just type fast put flash recovery space recovery dot img and click hit enter so right now as you can see i have like it says successfully writing recovery and stuff it's done finished and i'll hold the volume up and power button together on the device and hopefully it will boot into the orange box recovery just release the buttons when you feel the vibration and as you can see it says like enter password this is the lock screen password i have to enter if i want to like decrypt the storage for this session so i have entered my screen pin over here i'll just tap right and right now as you can see the storage has been successfully decrypted as of right now for this session on this recovery and right now i'll just reconnect with the pc again just to like move the files as you can see the device is detected i'll just click over here and open the device folder i'll just minimize this panel and on this internal storage i'll open it and i'll just create a new folder let's rename it to like adn and over here I'll just copy and paste these two things. Magis can the orange box recovery zip file, not the image file. So the copying is done. Now I can just unplug the USB cable. And from this, I will just go to the like ADM folder. And from here, I'll just flash the orange box recovery one more time. And I did this because like this is how you can like keep the orange box recovery and it will reboot automatically, of course. Now it's rebooting back to the recovery, I guess. It rebooted back to the recovery but i think if i reboot right now from the recovery to the system it will like replace the recovery or with the AOSP recovery or something so i have to just enter the pin let me enter the pin let's tap on never show this screen again and swipe to like make changes and stuff so right now it's done now you have to flash the magisk if you want to like keep using the orange box recovery i'll just flash this magisk file now from next time whenever you are flashing the rom you can flash the latest rom file with the magisk file and reboot and it will keep your recovery as far as i know right now i'll just click on reboot system and from now on for the redmi note 7 pro we don't need to flash the fcrypt disabler if you're flashing the new roms like this so here again as you can see i have successfully booted into the system of this evolution x rom and like the ui is pretty fine as of right now magisk eventually should appear yes the magisk has appeared as you can see over here so right now what i'll do i'll just reboot to system and see if i have the like orange box recovery right now or not so looks like yeah we have successfully did it the like orange box recovery is right now still there i have to enter the pin every time i reboot to the recovery so yep whenever you are flashing the latest build of the evolution x from next time you can just like reboot to the recovery like this and like flash the latest build with the magisk and reboot to the system so that's how it is that's how you will flash the rom on the redmi note 7 pro from now on so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now